All right, for this screencast, what I want to do is talk about um, plotting into a Word document. So um, if you're using MATLAB, you're probably writing some report. There's no way that you're just making a simple plot. So I just made a, a simple sine wave here. And so if I want to drop this into, say, a Word document, like here is my cool plot or something like that, and then like figure one, you know, and plop it in here. Um, basically, on Windows, you can hit edit copy figure and then just paste it in here. Um, on Linux you have to do um, a few things. Uh, you only have a few options. So if I just do a, a, a JPEG and uh, open this guy up, here's my JPEG. If I zoom into this guy, it's really pixelated. It, it doesn't look good at all. Um, if I do say a PNG, I've done PNGs before, save that guy. Um, it looks a little bit better here. Well, no, they actually look pretty much the same, so they don't really look that much better. Um, the the upside is is that if you um, sorry, if you insert this into here, there's your JPEG. You can move it around. Uh, you can you can shrink it down, but if I make it a little bigger, you can see it's starting to get. Um, you know, a, a little a little messed up. If I um, export this as a PDF um, to the desktop, oop, I just hit cancel, man. Export uh, desktop. Um, let me. Where is that guy? Open this guy up. See if I if I zoom in on this guy, it just doesn't. It just looks pixelated and just doesn't look good at all. Um, so what I like to do is. I like to save as what's called a EPS, which is encapsulated postscript. So, um, if I open this guy up, look at look at how awesome this photo looks. I mean, like I can zoom in, and it's just sharp. You know, like all the lines are great. Um, but the problem is that EPS is a is kind of a, a weird format. So if I delete this JPEG, insert this image uh, from file. Uh, let's see, image example, EPS. So uh, it looks like Linux doesn't have a problem with it. Um, believe it or not, uh, if you ever want to use something called LaTeX, um, LaTeX uses uh, EPS format uh, natively, which is uh, pretty cool. Um, but what I actually like to do is um, use a program called Inkscape. And so Inkscape is free, it runs on Mac, PC, Linux. And basically, what you can do, uh, Inkscape takes a, a minute to open on my computer. Um, it's a really, really powerful image editing program. Honestly, I mean, I'm just using probably 10% of it uh, doing this stuff. But um, what I did was, is I clicked File, Open, and I clicked that EPS that we just saved from MATLAB. And then what it does is it's going to convert this image into what's called a vectorized format. And so if I just precision of approximating the gradient message just jack that up as high as you can go click OK and there's your uh, your vectorized image there now what the heck does vectorized mean well if I zoom out and I I'm gonna grab this thing and I scale this up notice that the distortion doesn't change at all now by comparison let me show you what happens if I I'm gonna import that um, JPEG that we did, okay? I'm going to embed it. Here it is, right? I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to make it just as big as those guys. Now, which one do you like better? The one, This one or this one? Obviously this one. You see? EPS. Ooh, that looks very, that's very tiny. EPS and Inkscape. Inkspace. Scape is better. So the quality is preserved regardless of how big you make it. So if you're writing for a journal article and they say, hey, we want you to give us this image in 300 DPI, um, you can bring it into this program and uh, have it no problem. Uh, the other cool thing is, say you forgot to do something in MATLAB and the plot is really complicated to make, I mean, you can drop in some text here, title here, um, there's a, a, a ton of different fonts that you can use, um, you know, however you want. Uh, you can draw arrows in here, you know, you know, add in. I mean, again, this is just really scratching the surface of uh, what this can do. 
Um, but basically, once you're done, well, what you're going to do is you're going to you can you can click you can save this as a SVG. SVG is a, a Inkscape vectorized graphics, and so when you save that, that's an SVG. But what you want to do is export it as bitmap, and this is what my favorite part is. So if I want a 300 DPI photo, or say even I mean let's go just insane like 600 DPI photo, like magazine quality, right? It will scale up the pixel size to get exactly what I want. And then when I hit export, I'm going to export this as untitled PNG. And when I go back to here, here's my untitled PNG. Notice that here's title here, my arrow. And then here's the thing, if I zoom into this guy, this PNG is super high quality versus this JPEG, which is not very high quality. And so I can get the exact DPI that I want and then finally come back here. So this is EPS, figure one in EPS format, which is fine. Um, I'm curious to see, um, let's do, let's grab the uh, JPEG. Um, so let's, uh, okay, yeah, LaTeX is really cool. So this is, uh, I need to do like wrap, no wrap. So I do all my reports in LaTeX, by the way. Oop. Looks like I deleted the EPS version. Okay, um, this is annoying. Yeah, I like LaTeX a lot better. Um, image from file. Okay, so let's do the EPS. Here's the EPS. Then we're going to insert. Uh, image from file. Here is the JPEG, um, low quality. Uh, and then we're going to do insert image from file. And we're going to grab that SVG. I'm just curious how that SVG came in. Uh, again, I mean Linux is just pretty cool with uh, with different um, formats. Um, I did put this weird uh, black border around it. I'm not entirely sure what that is. And then finally, let's grab that PNG that we exported from. Um, and it looks like the, the quality is actually not that good. Um, it's still a little, you know, it's, it's not, not exact, entirely perfect. But um, another thing you can do in Inkscape, which is pretty cool, is you can do uh, save a copy and save it as a PDF. And um, when you do that, you can, again, you can do a rash, you can do 600 DPI, hit OK. And then now you've got, ooh, how do I get to my desktop? I've got a lot of windows here. Here's my untitled PDF. And it's, it's, it's just really sharp and it looks really nice. Um, so basically, um, the conclusion is that Inkscape, EPS, SVG, all of these uh, image formats are your friend. And uh, you should try and use them and see which will post best. Um, post in the comments below uh, what you like and what you don't like. And uh, hopefully you'll make some nice reports. Good luck.